Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, little Hugh. Our sweet Josie Bow, I'm the cutest one. Good morning to you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Good morning, guys. I was just singing. But the truth is, God made us beautiful. You are beautiful because God loves us. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This time, you are in my kitchen. Before, I was cleaning my filthy mustard bag, but I got tired of it. So now, I will show you today how to organize my pantry. Maybe you can help me. Maybe you have a better idea. So, but first I need to clean up my kitchen. It's such a mess. So please stay with me and I'll start now. And this is our kitchen before I repainted. The most challenging thing about this project was having to remove the kitchen stores, cabinet, and bringing them outside for sanding. And that way, there will be less dust inside the house. The primer and painting the walls was the easy part though. And it was fun too at the same time because I keep myself busy while we are stuck inside the house over the course of quarantine. And Nathan and Javi helped me to put it back on all the cabinet doors. And I was so happy when Javi decided to put a handle for the cabinets. He also decided on the back flash for the back of our stove. You know, organizing my pantry is not really necessary because I know once my kids raid this pantry, it will go back to the way it was before it was clean. Well, anyway, I thought it would be fun for me today to organize my pantry so I could show you how I work with my employer's pantry with my consideration as a housekeeper. And it would be grateful if you watch my video up to the end. The cleaning supplies I am going to use is the magic eraser which is really good for cleaning the walls. I'm also going to use this microfiber cloth. It is very good for wiping. And of course, my favorite ivory dish soap, which I diluted and put inside this empty bottle of Mary's brand that I got it from my employer's house. Now, I am going to show you how I organize my pantry using the same way I organize my employer's pantry. For my top shelves, I put all my baking stuff. This is the stuff that my employer is not really using regularly. My employer is tall and very beautiful. Yes, and I always admire her. I'm pretty sure she could see up there without using a ladder. For my second shelf, this is the eye level. Mostly, the stuff I put here is the one that I regularly use for every day. And I did the same thing at my employer's house. I want to be sure that my employer will see right away what she is looking for. And this is part of my consideration while straightening up. The consideration I did here for my third shelf is I put most of my employer's snacks on the front so they could see it right away, their choices. My hobby's favorite snacks are the peanuts and kittle popcorn on the left sides for me. 
for my fourth shelf, what I have here is variety of noodles and pasta with kid snacks. And the consideration I did here for my employer's pantry is I put all the variety of granola bars in this bowl so kids will see right away their choices and to avoid empty boxes after a couple of days. You know kids. I know that most people like their bread inside the fridge, like my employer, but mine, I like it here in my pantry with kids cereal and with my oatmeal. I'm the one who uses powdered milk for my oatmeal because I love powdered milk and I love Nido. On the bottom, this is the spot I put my employer's extra groceries to avoid overloading to the top. For me, I put all my rice here because we love rice and we won't survive without rice. I told you guys, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser works really well for this tour. Two weeks ago, I organized my employer's pantry and one of the considerations I did was I checked expiration dates and I can only check the expiration dates once or twice a year because it hurts my eyes. I found some expired food that needed to go. This here from my employer's pantry, my employer tells me if I want them instead of letting them expire. My advice? Always work like your employer is watching you because you never know. At para laging porsigadong magtrabaho. Thank you everyone for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye now!